Hello. In this lecture, we are going to talk about random variables. A random variable, by definition, is a mapping from the sample space to the real line. For example, if this is our sample space, yes, and this is our real line. So, um, a random variable is a mapping from here to here. For example, if you flip a coin, your sample space is heads and heads. You can define a random variable x as x of heads be mapped to the number one and x of heads will be mapped to the number two the next definition is distribution function so f of x of lambda equals probability of x of s less than or equal to lambda in which x is our random variable and lambda is dummy variable it means that it could be can be any value for example a distribution function could be like this could be like this one um, zero up to one and then half from one to two and from two to infinity and goes to one any distribution function has three main characteristics number one is that fx of lambda is non decreasing number two fx of minus infinity equals zero and number three is fx of positive infinity equals one if you look at this picture you see fx of positive infinity equals one fx of minus infinity equals to zero and the function is not decreasing and here is actually increasing the next definition is probability density function probability density function or we use a small f x of lambda equals derivative of the distribution function with respect to lambda or if you want to calculate distribution function can use this formula from minus infinity to lambda f x of mu here mu is again a dummy variable x is random variable lambda is dummy variable now let's look at an, an example for example we have a uniform density function like this
so we can use that f x of lambda equals zero for lambda less than zero equals one for lambda between zero and one and equals zero for lambda greater than one so for i'm going to calculate distribution function we said that f x of lambda equals minus infinity to lambda f x of mu b mu so we have three conditions for the first part is from minus infinity to zero so the value is zero so that is minus infinity zero of zero mu is zero for the second part is minus infinity to zero plus zero to one one b mu which will be zero plus zero to one equals to one and then minus infinity zero plus 0 to 1 1 d mu plus 1 to we call it lambda we can call it to the infinity 0 mu that would be 1 if I want to draw that let's make this up to 0, less than 0, it's 0 let's consider that here, if I put 1 here I will get the, the maximum of that, the latest step if I want to get the function I need to use a lambda here and this will be lambda so this will be lambda so function is lambda so that is up to one system and then after that it's again one so this is f x of one now let's check see if it has all the characteristics infinity equals to 1 let's call it infinity for x equals to infinity equals to 1 f x minus infinity equals to 0 you see that and f x is a non decreasing function you see that this function is non-decreasing 